So it's now quarter to eight in, um, where even is this place called? Where we stayed last night. And we're gonna go that way. Our cultural differences. <laughs> Greetings, Uncle Travelling Matt here, and in quite different surroundings uh, than last night. So I am currently sitting outside a, a private albergue in, I'm going to get the name of this place right, Espinosa del Camino, uh, which is about 25, possibly 28 uh, kilometres further than Granion last night. So what's happened? Well, I made the video late last night after a fantastic evening of kind of fellowship and warmth um, in, in the Granion. Um, it wasn't an albergue, they called it an hospital uh, because they look after your soul as well as your uh, well, physical needs, shall we say. Um, but they weren't as good with the physical needs as the soul stuff because <clears throat> you slept just on a mat and it was very hard and very uncomfortable and most people didn't sleep that well plus there was a huge uh, group of italians who um made a hell of a lot of noise shall we say um they were very young and very enthusiastic and that's all good but uh, for a grumpy old man like me uh, that meant even less sleep um so i'm kind of a bit more tired today than usual shall we say and that's not just me Saturn was the same um, we walked and the day was glorious, it was sunny, the scenery is fantastic, the, the scenery has changed again, it was around uh, the La Rioja region and born, virtually as soon as we left Granion we left the La Rioja region and we are now in Castilla, uh, which where Castilian, the, the main version of Spanish that's spoken, gets its name from. Um, and and the the landscape's very different. So La Rioja was very noticeably poor, and it, it was very kind of scruffy. And the landscape was almost wild west stuff. Um, apart from the fact there was a lot of vines, but nothing but vines. Here we've got huge rolling fields um, with uh, you know big hay bales stacked up in them and that and it's really really beautiful uh, but the buildings are quite unlike what I've seen before so in the Basque region there was a lot of very solid stone buildings and these um, a lot of half timbered stuff with red tile roofs it's very pleasant actually really like it so um, we had a nice day's walk today um, walked so let me get I'm looking at the map there was a uh, red uh, del Camino. Uh, we stopped for a snack there and then a few kilometers on um, we stopped for a drink at Villa Mayor uh, del Rio and then at Bellorado um, we uh, stopped to eat. So there was lots of kind of coffee potential and eating potential and that was really nice and we also went to a nice church in Bellorado. Um, and then we moved on and we were going to go to um, Tos Santos, uh, which is about five kilometers on, so that would have been 22 kilometers um, about, which uh, and it was nice. And we got there, and there's two albergues, and the private one only had one bed left. And so we went to the municipal, well, it wasn't municipal, it was a, a church room one, and it was like the Granion thing. And basically, we'd be sleeping on a mat on the floor, and um, that whole big group of Italians were there as well. And we just couldn't cope with it. I'm like, I can't cope with another mat night because it's just you don't sleep. And one night's okay, but um, two nights would be too much. So um, we we said, well, you know, the next place it's two kilometres up the road. Should we try there? And they said, oh, we'll phone ahead for you. And they couldn't get through. So what they did is they actually took us uh, in the car up the road, not two kilometres, but five kilometres, to this beautiful private albergue. Um, 
where they did have space. Um, and so we stayed here, which creates a bit of a problem because it actually means we're cheating because we've not walked five kilometers um, that we, we should have walked. And um, so that's, you know, we're not actually walking all the way to Santiago, but, um, you know, we, we could go back, but uh, Saturn doesn't want to do that, and to be quite frank, neither do I, particularly because it was going to be a grueling day tomorrow. So we are going to cheat. And I've now got to think of a way to justify that. So the way I'm going to justify it is this, is that we did not choose uh, to go on the car, but we were, it was a gift from um, from fellow pilgrims who, who are volunteers in the Alberghi. And also, I, I, I do remember someone talking about uh, Buddhism and attachment and how we can get attached to things and we need to break our attachments. And I think as, as a bit of a completist who likes train spotting and stuff like that, I am attached to the idea of walking every kilometre and therefore by missing out five kilometres, I'm going to break that attachment. At least that's the argument I'm using. So yeah, so we've actually cheated for five kilometres and we're going to um, continue on tomorrow um hopefully to a town and i'm going to get this right called atapuerca where there's actually archaeological remains of some of the earliest human beings in the world um if not there somewhere else there's plenty of places to stop and then after that is my final day of this um part of the camino when i go into burgos so what else to say today uh, obviously i've worked with sato all day she's very very good company i have to say we do get on really really well and that's nice other pellegrinos that i've spoken to i uh, spoke to a nice uh, american mother and daughter who the the uh, the daughter's husband had died a, a year ago in a plane crash and i think she was kind of doing communion to get her head around things a bit and um, a fantastic Galician man, um, a young lad I uh, was speaking to in the Alberghi, a German gentleman from Magdeburg, um, who's a Buddhist, and he's writing a very detailed uh, diary. Um, and I also I suppose I've got to include my old Camino Amigo, Jackie Don, who, who rang up today uh, while I was on the, on the way, and we had a chat, so that was really nice, actually, and it kind of provided a bit of a link with the old one. So, yeah, that's that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm chilling out. I don't think I've actually sat outside in such a beautiful little place since since Junto. It really, but it, it's gorgeous. And, um, yeah, this is, this is what it's about, isn't it? So um, I'm having a read. I'm reading the shortest history of Germany because we went on holiday to Germany uh, on our Europe trip and uh, really enjoyed it, but realised that I, prior to Bismarck, I had no clue about German history. Uh, so I'm trying to understand a bit. And, um, yeah, that's that. So, uh, still loving it. Coming towards the end now, but there's always going to be next year. Keep travelling. Buen Camino.